B A B U coming to you live. This is new cool thing called Gaussian splatting, where you can take a video and turn it into a 3D scene. I've been experimenting with this thing and it is so cool that things that will be able to be done by this some scenes here some interactive scenes that I have oh that's not oh, this 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 the interactive scenes like you can literally so cool so so cool let me open some scenes that like, check this out this is a I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's let's open some scenes. That I've been able to work with in this So this is one of a building in Kigumo and just the opening scene, the opening scene is just... As it loads the file, you get to see the entire file, the entire scene as it slowly moves and just gets to see it. So this is, this is from one room. I just need some space. I just need some space. Space. I just need some space. Space. I just need some space. The uses of this are still debatable because it's not yet to the level of photogrammetry you can't take measurements from it but you can visualize so much from a two minute video orbiting a site and you can be able to capture so much information about the site and the context like even this electricity wise with photogrammetry it's really not possible to see such fine details especially wires these trusses and trellises on the on the tower like it's and even the context the context around it's It's amazing, it's amazing what this, this, this thing is doing. This is another scene, this is uh, AAR hospital. Again, one orbit video around the site and you are literally able to capture the whole scene and reshoot if you'd want to reshoot this thing. Like, it's amazing the detail and the things you can be able to do. It's just I won't go. I, I the, with Gaussian splatting, there's it's it's. I I don't even know what the hell this is. I I'll put links to what it does, but essentially it's point clouds that have been optimized with AI to produce these visuals. This is another product of AI and it cannot really replace photogrammetry as of yet, but the applications, the applications of this are, are crazy, are amazing. I, I, I just, 
another scene, this is uh, in Nanyuki, a building in Nanyuki. So it literally takes those points that appear first the scene and does some AI things that are enable you to see this. And this is for, over the web. This is this is a website. Like the things I can be able to see with this it's it's amazing if you zoom in too much it kind of starts to fall apart but this is like a year's a year's technology a year's and it's not just with drone scenes uh even with interior scenes this is this was Captured. This is an interior scene. I'll, I'll I'll show I'll show the video that led to this capture. But the capture the capture wasn't really optimized to for three D splatting. But the things the things you can the things you can be able to do and just like this one of the applications. Like this this video is not really best suited to explain but some 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 of the things that you can actually be able to do where oh, are you going with this ah uh, to just open this back up and just oh yes we shoot this is the so if this entire scene was captured like in a better better way these are some of the things you can actually be able to do you can be able to reposition the camera in any way any place and be able to reshoot that scene in ways that I the applications of this are give it a year maybe not even a year but the things we'll be able to do with our cameras with our phones it's, it's, it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. Like this is Gaussian, Gaussian, Gaussian splatting. Gaussian splatting. Look at that. I can be able to look around the scene and just. This is what AI is enabling. This is this is in Garissa, a building in Garissa. Again, that's why we were positioned myself and Buona Kimeo, drone pilot extraordinaire. But damn, I don't know. I feel like the opportunities and especially the details, like. Such fine details, electricity lines, these are things you cannot properly capture with photogrammetry, photogrammetry unless you're using like really powerful and expensive LiDAR. But normal camera cannot pick such details with photogrammetry. And with these, with Caucasian splatters, I can be able to see points of the drainage. I can be able to see all the electricity poles. I can be able to see so much detail, especially, especially 
this, this electricity lines, these are details you cannot capture at all with photogrammetry. Some of these, I don't know guys, I feel like the opportunities and the applications of some of these technologies, of these, these Gaussian splatting years is, is great, is, ama is amazing. Like this, this another scene. It, this, this did not come out too well, but you can start seeing the scene from the point cloud, but then it goes to shit from there. Uh, but that's the gist of it. Those are some of the scenes I have captured with my drone or a camera and just. Guys, guys, Gaussian splatting. <laughs>